Although they have ears, although they have eyes, they do not look, they do not observe with their eyes. This is their sin, this is their crime. And Allah, because of their crime, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them. Allah azawajal, the only one God, does not punish anyone, any, uh, any innocent one. كذلك يطبع الله على كل قلب متكبر جبار. Thus does Allah seal up the heart of every arrogant, every tyrant. In this example, we came here from the people of Egypt when they denied in, in times gone by their prophet Yusuf والسلام, even though he has come to them with clear ayat from Allah and they convinced thereof but they denied him and after he died they said no messenger will Allah send after him so they uh, acknowledged they confessed that they already knew that Joseph وسلم, was one of the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after a while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now sent Moses to them and they denied him in the same way so they they are misusing the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophets of Allah azza wa jal they are wasting the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only one God and they after that they do not stop there they try to refute the truth with falsehood they betray themselves and here you can see the people whom Allah hate them with the utmost loathing. Let's move on to the ayah number 36. وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ And now Fir'aun speaking. وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ Fir'aun said, يَا هَامَانُ O Haman Haman is his minister or one of his ministers وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ Fir'aun says to Haman يَا هَامَانُ إِبْنِ لِي صَرْحًا Built me a lofty tower إِبْنِ لِي صَرْحًا He's commanding Haman to build a tower Why Fir'aun wants Haman to build a tower? Fir'aun thinking something Fir'aun feel that he should do something against this believer man from uh, his family because the believer from his folk said many things and his argument argument is very clear and is very understandable so that Fir'aun felt that he may lose his kingdom and he wants to do something in order to deceive the people he feel that he should do something to deceive the people and the people with their eyes says to Fir'aun do something in order to deceive us we cannot dare to acknowledge the truth but you should give us something in order to fool ourselves this is the relationship between the rulers and between the peoples whom all deny the truth they couldn't deny the truth just say yes you are right but we deny you this is very difficult to say so they wanted to find some way even if it's fake or false but they want to fool themselves with simple things this is the way of the deniers this is the way of the disbelievers so when you see people say that the universe come from uh, became out of chance randomly and when they say that the people the humanity
come from uh, the monkeys. Something happened in the, uh, throughout the time and uh, it, it perfected itself. Uh, and uh, at the end, this perfection uh, existed, come to exist. Look how they fool themselves. And you, you can say that, how could they think in this way? How could the, uh, the scientists, the people, how could they talk about uh, something like that? At that moment, you should remember that in order to refute the truth, they need something. It's very difficult to say that there is God, my creator and the creator of the heavens and the earth, and, and I want to deny him and I, I'm ready uh, to be punished by him. It's very difficult for, for them to say, even though inside themselves they know that, by, but they want to cover it up it and deny it and to feel that there is nothing, there is no reality like that. And they expect the others and they want to hear from the others the same lie and when they say that lies all together, they feel happy and they say, yes, now I'm happy that I see many, many people deny the truth and I feel that there is no reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the way of denying to them. And this is this false way, this simple and uh, comic way is the way of denying, the way of kufr. Putting your, putting your uh, head under the ground in order not to see the sun, in order uh, uh, to deny the sun. Yes, it's comic and it's very clear that it's false, but this is the way the, the deniers followed throughout the history. They do not Absolutely, they do not have sing, any single uh, real proof against the oneness of Allah, against the Creator of the heavens and the earth. They do not have any single proof against Him. All the signs and all the things in this life, in the heavens and the earth, they are all told us and says to us that there is a Creator there is a creator who perfected everything there is a creator who created everything in perfect manner and he has the right over everyone and everything and there is nothing out of control of that creator but this is a trick from Fir'aun and he wants to refute the truth he Maybe he, th he thought that this is very smart plan against Moses, against the message of Allah, and against the message of that believer. He said, O, o Haman, Ibn Li Sarha, built a tower, a lofty tower, high, high, tall fortress. La'alli ablughul asbab so that I may arrive at the ways the tower will be very high you can imagine how high it can be and he will uh, reach the ways the ways, what, what does it mean the ways? look Fir'aun says the ways of the heavens how comic Fir'aun here but at that moment people when they saw that tall according to that time tall fortress they could deceive themselves and said look how Fir'aun powerful could build a fortress uh, like that very high very very uh, tall Asbab al samawati I may that I may reach the ways of the heavens 
what he will do when he reach the ways of the heavens Musa, so that I can look upon the God of Moses he will look upon the God of Moses and then he will say yeah he, he is making an experiment he is testing the truth of Moses he is giving chance to him look Firaun how is how he is open-minded he is building a lofty tower and then he will look if there is a God or not this is a trick and it's very clear and simple and comic trick because Moses said to him when he asked him who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth who is the Lord of all that exists Moses responded to him and said the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth and whatever between them in kuntum taqilun if you reason he is very clear no need to build a lofty tower in order to see him he is very clear because you can whatever you see created by him by almighty God we are his proof the heavens and the sky and the stars in the heavens and their positions and the systematic over there and this earth and its moon the Sun and this systematic this system all shows you the power and the knowledge of all mighty God the only one who created them all and yourself and we are also we are not simple things when we see ourselves when we reflect upon ourselves we can understand that the one there there should be a powerful one who created us we can speak to him just say oh my creator i'm happy that you created me and, and i'm thankful to you that you created me you created me and you have such knowledge and such power and I'm sure that you hear me because you are providing me whatever I need and this earth and whatever comes to me from this earth I saw that you created everything in this earth what what I need so you know what I need and you provided them all to me how can I deny you these all cannot be happened by chance أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته